Hello, good day, guys. In today's very video edition here, I'm gonna be teaching you guys top 10 wedding tips and tricks. Most weather doesn't have really review why they are teaching you tips. Now, I learned this in a hard way. Some of them you come over YouTube, like you see three minutes video, they don't talk, they just show you. But it is not everything you are going to know by showing. Someone got to talk, someone got to say the magic words. And when you hear these magic words, it's gonna turn you from new to pro, from beginner to pro. The first tip. Which I'm gonna be teaching you out of the 10 is when you're learning how to weld as a starter, as a beginner, try to learn from old men, people who are old. The older men tend to be more factual and more straight to the point and giving you what you need to know when you are learning how to weld. If the person who is teaching you is not old, let's say like uh, from 70, well, from 70 pretty much 50 50 chance whatever he's saying could be true or maybe false or especially where he's not talking and he's just welding he is not trying to teach you he should explain to make you understand it that is number one tip the second tip you have to understand is size matters you've heard this from ladies before that size matters right and why is still some are screaming over straps uh, strap on so the size matters like you see here this is uh, this is um, 513 rod and I can show you the difference in the welding here this is the 513 it's very funny it's not uh, it's not going deeper and penetrating like if you see this one here this is uh this is one o two one a one o two rod and if you look at the size one i say you can see it obvious that this is the 102 is thicker so i'm going to talk about that later now the the third tip which you need to know is Handling the uh, the tongue, the the stick makes all the difference. When you are welding, whether you choose 45 degrees or you choose 90 degrees, I want to share something you have to understand here. When I mean handling matters, when you are putting the stick like this, right? There is something you have to understand. The portal will be flowing a lot. And if the pot is flowing a lot, most of the times the tip of electrode gets cut off and you don't push back. So if you don't push back, you will have a lot of carbon formation inside it than the rich content than the iron metal, which is this guy right here. And that makes your wedding to look very terrible. Like you can see this terrible welding here. But here you can see how here mixed and blended so well. And blended so well with the material so that is a thicker this is a thicker wedding rod and this is a smaller wedding rod this is a104 a102 sorry why this one is 513 so now the fourth tip which I want to want to let you guys know is the best cutting edge amperage is between 80 and 115 80 amps and 115 now let me show you let me teach you something about the amperage the lighter the material the smaller the amperage the thicker the material the higher the amperage so if you want a better penetration when you're dealing with the thicker metal they want to take the amperage to go between 100 and 115 then if you are dealing with a lightweight material thin material you want to be between uh 25 between 25 you can't go below 25 between 25 30 to 80 depends on the gauge you need a lot of practice in order to for you to know the right one here when it comes to 
the amperage based on the size of the metal gauge which you are welding. The fifth pro tips that can turn you into welding is the angle matters. Like here, if you're welding right here and the stick is somewhere around here, joining between, making a joint between these two is gonna be really hard. So you wanna stay around 45 degrees to two of the joints. I hope you get that correctly. So when you are having this very two joint here, if this is 90, let your lateral stick between 45 degrees. That's gonna be, you're gonna be standing more chance in welding the two materials together. The sixth tip is, if you are looking for a deeper penetration and less coverage, you need 610 welding rod, 610. 610 welding rod however if you need a better coverage after welding because that system actually goes deeper and bonds better so you need to you need to use the 610 first then you can use 613 because it has more coverage in covering uh, the area which you need to weld so have that in mind those are actually two top-notch electrode. However, this very electrode which I have here from Chinese parts stores defy the, all this A10102. Now, what next on the seventh tip which I wanna let you guys know is, the size is actually very more important. I have said the size matters in one aspect. Now we have a size matter in second aspect. The second aspect where the size matter is, let's say you are wearing a metal that is this thick. You can use this one here to join it to expect a miracle. You need a thicker welding rod. Those thicker welding rod is gonna be making more penetration and having uh, to remelt the both of them to fuse together. I hope you get that clear. So don't forget that whenever you are selecting welding rods to weld any project which you have the bigger the, the thicker the welding electrode the thicker the material the thinner the material which you want to weld the thinner the smaller the electrode the welding rods which you want to use now the eight tips which most people often don't teach you when they are teaching you how to weld this. When you are welding, right? I want you to have this in your mind. What you're simply trying to do here is you're trying to remelt this, the, the base metal to the other metal which you're trying to weld. And you are gonna be using the electrode to achieve that. If you are welding and you are getting some some splatter like this there are every tendency if it is not really going deeper there is every tendency that the amperage is low in a key shot here you want to do is to toggle between 100 amperage and 115 this is this here which is 6513 uh, uh, wedding rod and what is the amperage? The amperage which I'm getting right there is 80 amperage. And this one here is A102 wedding rod. And the amperage I, I use to get this very smooth wedding here is between 100 and 115 amperage. I hope you understand that. Now the ninth pro tip on wedding, which most people don't often teach you is the the slogan there is put the heat to metal let me explain that a little bit further when you're wearing a thicker material and a light uh, a thinner material you don't wear from the light to thick listen to that again you wear from thick to light so the thicker material the bigger material is what you need to put your wearing electrode on to remelt it to flow into the smaller one i hope that you, you get that correct so basically what that means is when you are using your electrode on the bigger one 
you are hitting the bigger one more so the heat should be more concentrated on bigger side and the smaller side because any heat generated on the bigger side is gonna do make it way to be easier to weld the smaller one but when you are hitting the smaller one basically what you're gonna be doing right there is uh you're, you're not gonna be really doing a good job when you're welding from a thinner material to a thicker material now lastly if i haven't gotten to 10 already let me state this clear if you look at this very electrode here that's gonna be 10 which is quality material if you look at this very wedding rod the one on my right which is this guy here has more thicker metal inside while having the flux on the outside however when i'm wedding, when i'm wedding using this very 513 there is more carbon formation forming puddles flowing everywhere blistering every, all over the place than the real metal which is supposed to be creating the joint which is different from this one here all right and uh, let me use let me use this one to add a bonus if you are needing a thicker i mean a stronger bond in what you're welding i don't recommend you use this this electrode here this is a common electrode which you're going to be finding in most african countries this 513 i don't recommend you use it i have used it before and if you apply a serious force on it it's gonna break but if you use this one o a one o two i am not advertising for the company i'm just telling you what i've tested that works better if you use this one o two on a a little bit of a tickle material you are gonna be guaranteed to be getting a smooth professional result like this however if you want to go through the other route of the other side and you are using 513 except you have to compensate to increase the amperage which will be eating a lot of material and not getting a better coverage and that is where this shitty work comes in i hope you guys understood this and i hope it makes a lot of sense now when you try it in the field you are going to understand what i'm telling you so tune in for more tips and tricks on how to become a pro weather bye for now